Nancy Metcalf is senior program editor at Consumer Reports. She wrote the Dangerous Devices article. We're pleased to have her here. Good morning. Good morning. Why? Why would not the FDA want this to be done, to see this kind of testing? Well, it goes back to uh, a loophole that you could really drive a truck through, which is that um, if you're a medical device manufacturer and you can prove that your device is sort of kind of similar to a device that was sold uh, earlier, you can get it grandfathered in without any clinical testing. And, you know, device companies have very smart lawyers and regulatory people who help them do that. But I'm just surprised that the FBI would not, that the FDA would not say, you know, we have a reason we haven't done this other than um, we that. we got to wait for something better. Which wait is, for something yeah. better, exactly. Well, yeah, uh, that's a question to ask them. <laughs> well, we tried. Um, this is widespread, too. And here's a doctor who said he's not surprised, and he's seen a pattern of this. Yeah, a, a lot of uh, medical people who follow this thing closely are really kind of horrified by this. I, I talked with a number of them. And, you know, this is a thing that affects a lot of people. We did a survey, of, uh, a national survey of American adults, and 17% of them said they have something implanted in their body. Wow. It could be, a, you know, a, a replacement lens if they've had cataract surgery, a joint, a, a heart valve, a stent, yeah. something. So, so this but, extends beyond hips and, oh, very and much, knee replacement. Very much. Yes. So we're talking about some of the other things on the list, lap bands. Yes. Internal defibrillators, surgical mesh that, that some women ha have needed for different things. So when you look at that list of things, and if you're thinking, A, I've got something in my body, I'm one of those 17% of Americans, or B, I have something scheduled, what do you do to make sure what you need is safe? Well, a couple things. First of all, you need to ask, do I really need this device? Is there another way to fix my problem? Find out what your doctor wants to put in you. Get the name of it. Go to the FDA website, fda.gov. Plug it in their search engine. If there's safety problems or recalls, you can see them. Also, go on just any search engine and put in the name. If you see a bunch of lawyers trying to get clients for lawsuits, that's right. another red flag. But, but real quickly, because we're very tight on time, if we go to the FDA website, but they're not updating the way that they regulate things, can I trust that information? Well, you can trust what's there, but we, we really need to get the FDA to be more rigorous about mm. these new implantable devices. It's good advice to anybody. Go and look for yourself yes. to see if there's a pattern of, of uh, other people having the same problem. Yes. Nancy, good to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you.